I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 284, where I'm going to show you how to use the join to debug a select. This is how I work. From time to time, I have brain cramps in Quantrix, and formulas just don't work for me. I'm going to say it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes it does happen that I don't quite understand why a formula is not working. So I need to debug it. And one of the best ways I have found to debug formulas is by using the join function in Quantrix Modeler. It is an awesome function. I encourage you to go watch episode 9 where I introduce to the Quantrix Authority YouTube audience the power of the join function. And to prolong or to give a little bit more credence to the power of join, I'm creating this video today. I have here a uh, matrix that has a list of accounts by month and by year. And what I want to do is I want to go out and I want to sum the value of these accounts where my accounts match here in this matrix as well as my month matches here to the month here as well as the year matches the year that's listed over here in this utility matrix. And the other day I was do doing this, I was using a select statement going out and saying, well, go ahead and select the value where my year is, you know, where the year here is listed to the year that's listed over here and where my month, you know, corresponds to the month that I have here. And it just wasn't working for me. I was not getting the right values and I was, I was completely perplexed on what was going on wrong. And so after, you know, five minutes of struggling, I don't know why I took me so long to do this because I've done this many times before I just went ahead and I wrote join here and the way the join function works is I list what I want to join and in this case I want to join anything that the select statement brings back because select brings back a list of items and typically we aggregate or c compute along that list of items in a select but in this case because I'm debugging I just want to join that list of items and what is my separator that I want to join I'm gonna go out here and I'm simply going to do a comma here to get to my separator argument and I'm gonna do a pipe character like this and this is what I did the other day and so then what I have is I have a formula now or a result set that gives me a list of all of the items that are being computed by this select statement and the other day as I was going through this I then realized well this number doesn't really correspond to any of these so it must correspond to something that is hidden and then I realized my fault folly I was actually missing an additional using as here where I needed to link these GL accounts to the input of GL account category here but how I figured this out was ultimately by using this join function in conjunction with my select and using a separator of a pipe so that I could get a feel of the exact values that were being returned from the select statement. So my point is sometimes you're having a hard time figuring out exactly what your formula is doing because of the multidimensionality of Quantrix. I encourage you to go ahead and use the join function with a separator of pipe in this instance and that should help you debug your formulas and help you realize you know what what you need what actions you need to take in order to get your formula working the way it should so it's truly clean elegant rich immersive and a work of art as we like to make things in Quantrix Modeler if you have any questions about debugging formulas a join or a select how to write anything in Quantrix or do anything in Quantrix. I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.